Welcome to the audio version of David Hathaway's main newsletter. David has recently returned from Armenia, where he was able to meet and teach senior pastors from Armenia and Georgia. This is critical, as we are planning major evangelism in both countries. Both countries have recently experienced war. Armenia only two years ago. And both are desperate for God's help and are open for evangelism. In Georgia, David's last big mission there was 12 years ago, and, as they shared with him, it both changed lives and changed the nation, especially when the then president, seeing God's power, changed the laws to recognize the evangelical churches and stop the persecution. This means that David can now work with government approval and the support of even the Orthodox Church, which also changed after seeing God's power. Thank you for your financial support of Ukraine. This money is going to our office in Ukraine. And also, to Poland and Germany, where millions of refugees are being fed, clothed, and given a place to live. David recently had a Zoom conference with the leading bishops in Ukraine. He promised our support until total victory is achieved. We are looking for the best date for our next National Day of Prayer for Ukraine. Tragically, many towns and cities, those either liberated or not even captured, are in ruins and so many have fled the war. Many are internally displaced and millions are refugees overseas. Whilst we have maintained daily contact with our staff, David is only now able to be in contact with several of our pastors. We had contact just a few days ago with the pastor of the Great Commission Church in Hearsun, a city completely under Russian control. His name was on the list of people to be captured by the Russians. By a miracle, he has escaped through fields, past Russian checkpoints, to safety. Many of his church have also escaped being murdered, but are now scattered. Sadly, many elderly, and those with nowhere to go, have stayed behind. Services continue online. We desperately need to increase our funding. This relief work in Ukraine, plus the evangelism in Poland, Armenia, and Georgia, will cost more than double our present income. Will you join us in supporting Ukraine? Many have already given generously, and we are immensely grateful. But the need is great. And the longer the invasion continues, the worse the humanitarian crisis becomes. There is so much damage to infrastructure, but there's an even greater damage to people's souls. Daily our staff care for the displaced, and those crushed in spirit. They share the love of Christ, in word and deed. Distributing humanitarian aid, and praying with those in distress. We are living in the last days. But the good news is, Jesus spoke more of the glory of his coming kingdom, than the suffering which precedes it. The older David becomes, and the nearer to the return of Jesus, the harder and faster he intends to work. Jesus said, In the last days, go into the streets, and compel them to come in. This year, our ministry continues broadcasting the gospel on TV, radio, and online, in multiple languages. And David is regularly holding evangelistic services. To make a donation, visit eurovision.org.uk forward slash donation. Thank you for your generosity. Before we close, let us encourage you with the words of Jesus from the Gospel of John, chapter 16. You have sorrow now, but I will see you again. Then you will rejoice, and no one can rob you of that joy. The time is coming, indeed it is here now, when you will be scattered, each one going his own way, leaving me alone. Yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows. 
But take heart, because I have overcome the world. For more information on the ministry of David Hathaway, visit eurovision.org.uk. Thank you for listening to this audio newsletter.